welcome to the Shabby Fabrics at Home Studio. I'm Chase and I am so glad that you're joining me today. Today we have a very fun project that we're going to do together. It is similar to a project we've done before that all of you loved. I love seeing all of your projects. We are going to make a autumn version of the sage leaf centerpiece. So this is the sage leaf centerpiece here. And then we recreated it in a beautiful array of fall colors with just beautiful felts that give it a nice texture that is going to look just lovely in your home during these fall months. Fall is my favorite season. I just love all the colors and textures that come with it. And this will really look beautiful in the middle of your dining room table or even an entryway. Um, anywhere you decide, your mantle, it will look lovely. So I'm gonna show you just the basics of making the sage leaf centerpiece, the autumn version. And then I'm actually gonna show you a few ways that you can style this within your home. So make sure you stick around to see at the end of this instruction here. So we are going to put this in a kit for you and send it directly to your home with all the felt that you need to create this. Um, there will also be a few add-ons that you will um, that you should have because it makes it so much easier for you that I'll discuss as we go along. Um, to get started, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut two half inch by 18 inch pieces of felt strips like these. Um, and this is going to be the vine base that we are going to use to piece this together. After you cut those out, we're going to put those aside and we're going to start creating our leaves. Um, so this is our parchment paper that this is my very favorite piece that I use. It just keeps my area nice and clean. So I recommend putting this down first before you get going on cutting and gluing just to make it nice and easy for you to clean up afterwards. Um, and it also is helpful to have our glue gun when we place it on here. But we're going to start by tracing our leaves. So. We have created these custom acrylic leaf templates that are so easy and fun to use. I love them because it creates the perfect leaf shape really every time, and I'll show you just quickly how to use them. You can place it on your felt here, and all we're going to do is we're gonna take our friction pen, which if you don't have one of these either, I highly recommend getting them because they trace just so easily around the leaf shape here onto your felt. And this is actually an erasable ink. So if you go a little bit outside the line here, you can just apply heat to it and it erases it so you can you know, do a different shape if you didn't like how that one came out. But with these acrylic leaf templates, I promise you, you will create the perfect shape every time. They come in a set of four um, and they are just very small, easy to keep on hand, and you can use them over and over again without them warping. Like typically using a paper um, stencil would do over time. These are nice and sturdy. So once you shape uh, or trace your leaf shape onto your felt, we're going to include in your pattern the best way to arrange them onto your felt sheet. But after you, you know, fill them all in, look at your pattern, what we're going to do is we're going to cut them out. I am using our Karen K. Buckley scissors. These are perfect for cutting out some of these shapes that have, um, you know, some finer details on them. They're comfortable to use and they're just nice and handy when using materials such as felt because it can be a little bit thicker. And I just cut a little bit inside of the line. Um, like I said, it is erasable. So if you cut and you still have some of your marking on here, do not worry, we're gonna be able to use heat and erase it. So once you cut out all of your leaf shapes, what you're going to do is you're going to set them aside and you're going to have an array of sizes and colors of those beautiful fall colors that we picked for the sage leaf centerpiece. And we're going to start now forming our leaves. And to do so, what we're going to do is we're gonna take our, um, our hot glue gun here, and this is the very best hot glue gun. This is a fine tip glue gun that works so well when gluing together this felt material and also these leaves that can be smaller. It creates the perfect amount of glue each time. And all we're going to do is just pinch it at the bottom here and just hold it until it has set. I'll show us one more time. We take our leaves, we apply a dot of glue at the bottom here, just at the base, just a small amount of glue. And then we're just going to pinch like so and hold until it's set. We're going to do that with all of our leaves that you have created by tracing and cutting them out. 
So once you have your leaves all glued together, you're going to organize them by shape and size just to make it easier for you to then place them correctly when we are making our centerpiece. Once you have them all cut out, we will then move on to assembling the centerpiece here. So to begin arranging your leaves onto your centerpiece here, you're going to take one of your strips that we cut out in the beginning, and we're going to start applying them to this vine base here. And to do so, we're going to take one of our leaves and we're going to apply some glue to this side of it and place it directly on to the end of your strip here. And just hold it for a minute until it sets, doesn't take long. And then we're going to take another leaf. You're gonna have an array of leaves and beautiful colors. And again, place a dot of glue on the side and we're going to apply it to the base again. And as we go on, you're going to continue to grab leaves of varying sizes to make more of a dimension to your centerpiece. So with this one, I'm going to stand it up a little bit more straight than with these two where I did with them lying down more to just give it some extra dimension to it to make it nice and full and just hold it until it's set. Going to grab another leaf of a different color, apply glue to it and stand it up straight next to this one. And we're going to continue doing this down the line. You want to apply the glue to where you're going to then set it on the base. So if I want this to go on the side here, that's where I'm going to apply my glue. And I'll just show us again. We apply glue and press and hold. And we're going to repeat this until we go all the way down this strip. Once you're down this strip, you're gonna grab your second strip and begin doing the same thing directly down each strip. When you're finished, you're going to have two strips like so to create your centerpiece. And you're going to make it so the first leaf that you started with is at opposite ends. So here was where I started with this one and where I started here on my second one. And what we're going to do is we're going to apply glue to the middle here and we're simply just going to place them together and hold them to meet in the middle. I recommend doing it this way because then you have leaves that are facing both directions that just lay beautifully instead of having them go all one direction. And you can apply a little bit more glue to help it stay in place. If you feel like your centerpiece needs a little bit more of additional leaves in the center here to hide where they joined, definitely do so. We provided plenty of material for you to make yours more full if you prefer. Really just play around with it, get creative, use a variety of different colors in places. You're going to start to get the feel of it as you go along. This really is such an easy and simple project to make. Um, and I will show you now how you can style this within your home because it really is beautiful and I know it's going to look lovely in any space that you have. Just the best piece of fall decor. Um, so make sure you join in to watch how we'll style it. So here we have a tablescape design set up using our autumn sage leaf centerpiece. And when I decorate a table setting, I love to start with one main home decor piece that I just truly love. And then from there, I incorporate different elements um, as I go along. So we started with our beautiful sage leaf centerpiece here. I just love, love, love the warm tones that are in here. These rust colors mixed with the grays. It really looks lovely and it's a great centerpiece to add in different textiles to. Um, from there, I'll kind of start by incorporating colors that are similar um, tones. So from there, I added some creams to this, some greens as well. We have that terracotta or rust color that all go together. And then from there, I also added in different elements and different textures. So we have this um, fabric here that has the gingham print with a different texture paired with the wood material, as well as the gold material that we see on here paired with the gold silverware. So I tend to select a variety of different textures, but then pair them together as well. So it just all, you know, incorporates all together. 
From there, with your color palette, I always try to mix it up with adding a few darker tones as well. So although you see a lot of creams that I chose in the beginning, I also paired it with these darker glasses just to add a little bit of contrast. So really you have this perfect harmony of tones and colors that all are different, but just mesh well together. From there, when you're actually setting it up, my key to it is always incorporating different heights. So although we have the sage leaf centerpiece that is laid out here, I also draped it a little bit onto this riser tray just to add it a little bit of dimension to it, as well as adding the tray that is this medium height and then adding these candlesticks here that add a taller element. So you never just want to have items that are all one height down on the table. You wanna make sure you have an array of different sizes and heights just to make it all flow together. I think this centerpiece would be just lovely to host a table, have your family gathered around for any holidays. Um, it's truly beautiful and I hope that this was helpful for you. Next, I will show you how I would use this in an entryway. So now here we have an entryway table or this could also be a design for a mantle, either way, just something different that is um, something other than your dining room table. So again, we have our autumn sage leaf centerpiece here. I just have it draped across the table and then filled in some home decor elements behind it. And it really turned out beautifully. So like we did the dining room table, what I did is I um, selected some colors that really just match well with it. I used the creams again, the rust, just really earthy tones that are perfect for fall and then incorporated it throughout the entryway table here. I added a lovely piece of art just to give it a little bit of contrast in the background. So we have our florals here that are fall colored as well. Again, with the differing heights, we don't just want it to be all one size. This just adds dimension and just really looks lovely in the background of the centerpiece here. So I actually added a riser underneath the vase here to give them different heights, um, as well as some fall elements such as these fun pumpkins. You can layer those as well with some books to give it some added height. These are our fabric covered books. If you haven't already checked out the video for those, make sure you check that out. There's also a kit available for these. It is just a very easy way to take something that we all have around our house and turn it into a beautiful piece of home decor that you can display. They have this beautiful texture on them. So we have a few different textures here. We have the wood here on our riser. We have the ceramic vase. We have some texture on our artwork that all match but are different um, and different textures and tones. So just like we did with the dining room table, play around with your colors, textures, Make sure that you have a pair to each object that you have on here and just play around with it until you see what suits you best. Um, you know, step away and take a look at it, play around with things. So the sage leaf centerpiece is just a great base that you can then add more home decor elements to. It has some really beautiful colors in it for autumn and fall. As we all love the home decor that comes along with the changing seasons, you will really love this and be able to play around with it. So as you can see, there's many different ways you can style the sage leaf centerpiece. It really will look beautiful styled many different ways in your home. I can't wait to see what you create. If you have the pattern from our first sage leaf centerpiece, it will be helpful in creating this autumn edition. However, we will provide instructions that might be best to follow along with the new colors to just make it coordinated as the one shown. I love the look of this one. I know you will enjoy it too. Thank you for watching. We will see you for the next video. In the meantime though, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and also follow along the Shabby Fabrics at home Pinterest and Instagram page that is at home with Shabby and we will see you next time.